guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first update in March. Can't believe how fast February went by, but I'm already doing an update. I know, you guys are probably like, what, an update already? So I did two project pans this year, so I thought I would combine them both in this video and just do updates. If you wanna see the in-depth uh, first videos on both, I will link those down below in the description box, so definitely go and watch those if you want to see a more in-depth look at each product. So I did my Project Pan Samples Edition, I have all of them right here, and I also did Project Pan, which I decided to do 17 products in 2017. Let's go ahead and jump right in, and not waste any time blabbing, let's do this. Alright, let's jump into my Project Pan Samples Edition, and I'm going to go in order of how I did it last time. That way I can just keep track of everything and not confuse you guys. By the way, I already marked off everything ahead of time. I was a good girl. <laughs> I went through with my marker. That way you guys can see my progress. So the first one here is the Evolve Smart Volume Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And here is my progress. I started right here is where I started, and this is where I am at right now. It's really good stuff. Really happy with that progress. <laughs> Alright, the next two products here are both from the brand called Juice Beauty. These are both, again, of course, samples. I have the Green Apple Brightening SPF 15 Moisturizer and also the Cleansing Milk. I have finished both of these since my last um, video where I started out. There wasn't a whole lot of product in these and I was already sort of trying to use them. I didn't really care for the moisturizer. It has a really strong scent. I did not like it that much. Not something I would purchase personally. And the cleansing milk I actually fell in love with. So I'm definitely really curious about trying a different way to remove my makeup. And this is what I've been using. And it's really creamy. It was really nice. I definitely recommend it if you want to splurge and use something really great. It's good stuff. All right, next product is the Osea Ocean Cleanser. I have been just recently diving into this because I'm going to show you what I've been using um, in the morning. So I like to use this in the morning. I've used about that much up. You can't really, it's hard to see with this glass bottle, but that's about where I'm at. You can kind of see it over here. So the reason why I haven't been using the Ocean Cleanser as much is because I wanted to finish this one up first. So I completely finished this up. This is the Lux de Mer. Uh, skincare with no secrets gentle face cleanser this was like a liquid it was really interesting but I actually really did enjoy this product really really gentle all natural cruelty free organic all that good stuff I really did like this product and yeah I finished up completely yay <laughs> all right guys another product that I finished up I did really good I'm telling you this is gonna be a good project pan this year this is a Little Barn Apothecary Geranium White Tea Beauty Mist. I really liked using this product. I'm actually going to keep this glass bottle because it's a really good glass bottle. But I really liked this. It was it had a strong scent though. I don't think it's something I would repurchase myself. But again, it was just a sample. came in a subscription box. And another product I finished up. I'm telling you guys, I did really good with the samples edition. This is the Harvey Prince Sincerely Body Cream. I did not like this. This was really hard for me to use up. And one of you guys suggested me use this on my feet, and that's what I did. I used it on my feet every night before bed, and my feet smelled pretty good, but I didn't really like the strong perfume scent of this, so I'm so glad to be done with that sample. Trust me. <laughs> Another product I finished is the Lush Rose Argon Body Conditioner. You guys, this smells so flipping good. It's completely empty. Um, I think you can return... I don't know how many it is, uh, like four or five containers if you return them. You can get like a free mask, so maybe I'll do that. I have a few more of these in a bag <laughs> that I've been hoarding, so I think they still do that. Do you guys know if Lush still does that? I'm not sure. The next product here on the list is the Turkish Delight also from Lush. I haven't finished this yet. Oh, I'm going to finish this up, I promise. It'll be gone in the next update. <laughs> next up we have the Hero Oil. And I have been using quite a bit of this, so I started off right here at the top, and I'm right about there. Hopefully you can see where I marked it off with the marker. And this is from the brand Poetic Blend. So next is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Blemish Clearing Mask. And I haven't touched this yet. Um, I definitely think I will do a mask sometime tonight. Maybe I'll do a mask tonight. But it's like a really weird gel texture. It looks like jello. <laughs> All right, next up we have the Adorn, Adorn Cosmetics Hydrating Cream Foundation Sample. This was a very tiny sample. I got about two uses out of this, and I did not like it, you guys. This is just the container, if you wanted to see what it looked like. 
I don't know, it didn't really have a scent to it, but it was just really, I don't know, I just didn't like the texture. It didn't last very long on the skin. Not my favorite, not something I would ever consider purchasing a full size of. But yeah, I finished that sample. And I have not used the sample of the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation yet because I know that this probably isn't going to work for me, but I need to try it out. Maybe I'll try it out this weekend and see if it's any good. All right, next up we have two lip products. They're from the brand Suntegrity and they are called the Lip CPR Lipstick. And I have the shade Sunrise Peach and Sunny Blush. I just had to put them in a bag because I had to rip off the caps because I didn't want to break one of my beautiful nails. Oh, no, 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 girl. So here are the two. I've actually been using both of them hardcore. There's a little tiny bit left in each one. So that's how much I have left. I think I'll definitely have these finished up with the next update. All right, next up, I have another makeup product. This is from the brand Well People. So this is the Realist Invisible Setting Powder. And it's 100% natural, and I think it's like cruelty-free and vegan. But I'm almost gone. It's almost gone, you guys. I've been using this a lot. And there wasn't a whole lot in here. So this is where I started, and this is where I'm at. There's just a tiny, like tiny, tiny, tiny bit in here. Next up, we have the Brigia Cosmetics um, Eyeshadow in Pink Frosting. And honestly, I haven't used this very much. I and I didn't use enough to like be able to mark it off. So I'm still at about that mark right there. I've used a little bit of this. You can tell that I focused more on the skincare products this past month. But I definitely want to focus on using up this makeup. Alright, the next product is the Evelyn Iona Gel Liner in Black. I don't like this, you guys. I think I'm going to toss this out because it's so dry and cakey I just don't like it you can see that it's like cracking and there's a huge gap right there you see that yeah I'm just going to toss this out and remove it from my project pan because it's just dried up completely this is going bye bye all right guys and last but not least I have the ignite illuminator organic illuminator <laughs> from the brand fewer minerals this is in the shade sweets I believe I haven't really messed with this a whole lot. Every time I use this, the texture is really, like there's these little tiny gran granules. I don't know how to say that. Like there's these little bits, and I don't know if this has went bad, but it's like, let me see if I can show you. Do you see how chunky it looks? There's like little beads and chunks of product. I don't know what's going on. And there's a lot of product in here, so it's going to be hard to force myself to use this, but I really am going to try. Alright guys, so that was my update with my Project Pan Samples Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed that update. I'm really excited and proud of myself. I've been doing pretty good on this Project Pan. So let's go ahead and jump into my update on my 17 products in 2017 Project Pan. So the first product here is the Mary Luminizer Well Loved Highlighter. I am just... I've been so obsessed with this, you guys. I'm not wearing it today, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more because I just love it. It's super intense, but you can also, you know, like shear it down a little bit if you want to. Here is sort of my progress. I hope you can see there. Still no pan, but I'm getting really, really close. You can definitely see the outline of the pan. Um, hopefully, maybe in a month or two, I will eventually hit pan because I really love this product and I want to show it some more love. By the way, let me know if you guys would like to see a tutorial with me using all of these products, mainly my 17 products in 2017 for my project pan. And I could show you like a tutorial and like how I like to use the products in different ways. So leave a comment down below if you would be interested and I will definitely film that for you guys. All right, product number two is the Wet n Wild Fergie Blush in the shade Brush with Destiny. Haven't hit pan on this yet, but it is a really pretty blush and I've been using this hardcore. Now I'm a little concerned because it's starting to crack along the side here. Can you see? There's like a chunk missing here and here, but I, I can't really decide on what area I want to focus on. So I've just been kind of going on this side. So I don't really see a dip yet. There is a lot of product in this pan of blush. But yeah, I don't really see a whole lot of, uh, not a ton of progress yet. There's not really much of a dip. 
Alright, next up we have the NYX HD Blush in Taupe. Now, I regret not marking off the pan before I started this, but I did mark it off today just so I can see an update for like next month when I do another update. <laughs> But I love this. I've been using it for contouring for forever. So I did take my ink pen and I did outline the pan. But this is just an awesome product and I definitely would like to at least try to use most of this up for this year. Next up on the list we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder and I have been using this quite a bit. I really like this powder. It's just a translucent setting powder um, but I started right here so the first line is where I started and this is where I'm at right now so I have been using quite a bit of this and there's not much left so I definitely see some progress already next up we have three individual products here but I'm just gonna go over them one by one this is the physicians formula nude eyes trio eyeliner set they are retractable I did take a sheet of white paper and I have been keeping track I've been a good girl <laughs> So I'll try to hold up and show you guys where I'm at on each pencil. So here is the black eyeliner pencil. And as you can tell, right here is where I started, the first mark. And then right here I wrote March. So that way I know where I'm at. Like, okay, March, and then keep on going that way. So this is the medium tone shade. And I have, again, used a little bit of this one. I definitely want to work a little bit harder on that one. So there's the um, starting line right there. And there's the, that's about where I'm at. All right, and then the last pencil here, this is the shimmery taupe looking one. And this one I actually have been using quite a bit. I'm actually surprised I haven't used more. So that's about where I'm at right there, the bottom line. All right, next up we have the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. This is in Toast. I've been having a really hard time using this, you guys, because it's so dried out. But I have hit pan. And this is really hard because it's kind of like all mushed in there. It looks really, really gross. Um, I'm actually wearing this on my eyelid today and I had so much fallout with this. I tried using my finger and just gently patting it on and I still had flakes everywhere. And normally these don't do that. It's just that this one has gone bad, I think. But I am going to try to use as much as I can of this. Alright, next up I have this gel eyeliner pen from e.l.f. as well. So I haven't had much progress with this and I did, of course, mark it off on the paper. So here's my start right here and then there's where I'm at right now for March. And this is a very, very large pencil so as you can tell, it's going to probably take me a while to go through this one. Alright guys, moving on, I have four single eyeshadows also from e.l.f. Cosmetics. A lot of e.l.f. I want to use up this year. So this one is called Periwinkle. And this is a beautiful blue periwinkle color. So as you can tell, I've hit pan there and I did mark it off with my permanent marker. That way I can keep track of my progress. So there's the little pan, yay! So excited that I've hit pan already. And I've been using this one a ton in the crease. It's such a beautiful like periwinkle blue color. And the other one I've hit pan on is called Moon Dust. There's the pan, yay! And again, I marked it off with my marker. So there's a nice dip in this shadow there. So excited. I really hope that I can finish these up this year. And so far, I think we are on the right path. All right, the next one is called Pink Ice. And this one I've been using as like a brow, bow, brow bone highlighter. As you can tell there, there's a nice dip. Hopefully you can see that little dip in the shadow. So I definitely think I'll be hitting pan on this soon. And this one is beautiful as well. This one is called Taupe. And this looks more like a sage green taupe type color. It's really interesting. And again, there is a really big dip in this one. So I'm sure I will hit pan very, very soon. We have the Jordana Lip Liner in Tawny. And I have been using this like crazy. It's a really pretty nude color. So here is my starting point right there. And then I've used about that much. So I've used quite a bit of this lip liner. And I'm really, really excited to finish this one up. All right, next up we have Oh My Guava from Red Apple Lipstick. So here's what this one looks like. I've been trying to actually uh, start using the pointy side because once it gets down there, it's going to be kind of awkward. So I'm trying to get it flat. That way I can really start getting into this and using this baby up. So that was my starting point and that's where I'm at right now. So hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know how people can keep their paper clean because I've got like lipstick marks all over this paper. Alright, next up we have the Bite Beauty Lipsticks. I have Cafe 
and also pepper. And this one I've been using a ton just to show you what it looks like. I actually used that pointy end so now it's nice and flat which that was my goal. So here's where I'm at on this guy here. So I started right about there and I'm right about there. So yeah, I have done really well on this lipstick. And then sadly, on the opposite side, this is like a du lipstick duo. I haven't even touched Pepper. Um, I've just been wearing a lot of nude lips lately, but I definitely want to start working on this guy here. So I really don't have an update. Um, it's pretty much exactly where it was before, is right here. So hopefully there'll be some progress. Um, maybe next time when I do an update. So, Alright guys, last but definitely not least, I have the Buxom, what is this called? The Buxom Full On Lip Polish, and this is in the shade Sophia. It's really hard to see the progress, but I assure you I put this in warm water, and then I was able to mark it off, so that's where I started, and that's about where I'm at right now. Alright guys, so that is it. That completes my update with my two project pans. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and tell me your guys' progress if you are doing a project pan as well. I want to know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. And I put new videos up every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye guys.